What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys, I apologize it's taking me so damn long to make this one specifically because I know some many of you have been asking about it. So let's get into it and what I'm here to talk about and that is specifically how good and if it's worth leveling up this damn marlin weapon all right so we're going to do a little comparison between all of these weapons going forward we're going to talk about all the water weapons that are ssr and whether the marlin is worth your time and if it is where's the best place to use it so first and foremost i want to talk about this real quick okay this weapon as you guys can tell here has a really really cool effect it's meant to be a fun weapon to use and most importantly it's actually meant to use in gates my opinion this is the best thing to clear gate gate content also not a bad weapon to do if you're going to be doing uh, any form of stage clearing with normal monsters you guys can see here for example it increases damage to normal monsters about one percent whenever you go through the surface path and you hit multiple monsters it can stack up to 99 times sorry 999 times so this can do quite a bit of damage to normal monsters but how does it st how does it fare when it comes down to bosses right and that's a lot of people want to ask that question and if it's worth using on bosses whatsoever so let's go through this effect and we're going to do a quick little comparison between all the water weapons and see if it's worth your time or if this is just a meme weapon to have and quite honestly uh it's not the worst weapon in the world it's not the best weapon in the world but hell it's a free a5 weapon that's water related so a lot of free to play players can benefit from it and use it in certain content so let's look at this all together now this is on the pay to win account of course so i have a lot more to compare with uh when marlin dream is used in sequence with dash it resets the cooldown of marlin dream and flying marlin of course the flying marlin skill is the following skill right there marlin's sorry flying fire marlin here uh marlin's dream right there uh so that's that actually resets it so that's important because that's the main skill you're going to use so a1 is important obviously a2 gives you the water damage increase and remember this only works when you are fighting other water weakness monsters if the monster is not weak to water this is irrelevant a2 and this applies all across the board not just this weapon when the user uses flying marlin it charges their dash one time which is amazing because it, it helps out a little bit increases the damage of marlin's dream and flying marlin by 30 percent decreases the cooldown of marlin's dream and flying marlin by 20 percent and when the user defeats an enemy using marlin's dream or flying marlin it grants the shaka effect and this essentially isn't bad. This is not a bad one. And this is free for everybody. It increases the user's attack by 1% infinite stack and up to 20 times. Keep in mind, though, it's when the user defeats an enemy. Very, very important thing to note. So places like Vulcan uh, and, and stuff like that, this is not going to take into effect unless you're at the last phase. He summons his ads. You kill some of his ads. You get a couple of the extra bonus buffs for the last few seconds in order to, you know, bust out a couple different moves and hopefully you get the kill. So all in all, this is not a bad weapon. So just keep in mind here where Marlin's Dream is used a sequence with a dash. The, fly, the skill becomes Flying Marlin. Skill increases the damage by 30%. When Marlin's Dream or Flying Marlin hit, they grant the surface path effect. And again, this is what the surface path effect is, right? So let's start doing a comparison okay um like i told you guys right now the main place this is going to be used at quite honestly and 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 i'm not trying to be uh you know cheeky here is going to be gates believe it or not and it's going to be a really good gate clearing uh, method to do or a weapon to use in order to complete these so if i go to a gate for example and let's just say i want to do oh, I'm like, let's find one that's actually uh with me in it as the main person perfect this one here okay let's just say i want to do this one okay and we're going to go ahead and swap this weapon in let's throw it in here and let's put it in with that that's perfect okay so watch what happens here and how this is used okay well, i'll show you guys real quick and you guys can see the the bonus buffs you get from it obviously and how this works out to benefit you as a whole as a player so yes it is a meme weapon yes it's very situational but again it is an a5 weapon for free to play players and realistically it's one of the best mob clearing weapons if you want to just have a little bit of fun with it right so let's just say i do this if i look at, that. Look at, there, look at the buffs that's they're already stacking you can see the surf up buffs right look at this look how quickly you can clear these mobs out right and then when it's done you do it again with a dash so very very cool very easy to use uh very effective for clearing mobs Okay, it does have a cooldown, obviously, so you have to be careful of that. The second cooldown will occur, uh, and then when the cooldown is over, you jump right back into it, and bam, we're at it again, right? Very, very, look, look at the stacking. We're at 20 stacks already, 166 uh, increase for damage. Uh, so you're going to get quite a bit of damage through here. Uh, the problem with this weapon is it's very, very hard to maneuver. I can only imagine how it feels on mobile. This is PC, and I'm having a hard time maneuvering, but it's pretty fun, and you get to do some cool maneuvers with it right so this check 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 
So look, I'm doing quite a bit of damage here, right? But of course, it's not going to do anywhere near as much damage as, let's say, a Grimoire would or like a Scatty would, right? When it comes down to full on DPS, this has no chance in hell. So let's take it a step further. All right, let's take it a step further. Let's take this weapon and run into uh, our usual little content that we do. Let's run it through the bear. All right, let's see how long it takes to kill the, the level 25 bear. So you guys, you guys can get a little comparison on, on how it does on bosses. You guys can clearly see it's not the strongest weapon, but it's fun to use, and it can clear waves of mobs fairly quickly, no pun intended with the wave part, obviously. So let's go in here, here go to Battlefield of Trials. Let's go to our usual floor. 25 yes i know i've been slacking here uh we'll get to, to this this done eventually floor 25 we're going to use the marlin weapon and then we're going to use the scatty and then we're going to use the grimoire there's no elemental weakness here okay i could do pod pod takes too long i think you guys will get the point after i do this anyways and how this works all right so let's see here let's jump in let's go ahead and dash all right we're gonna we're gonna start off with letting the bear do its thing we won't even shadow step okay i won't even shadow step once here i'm just gonna do this and then dive in right into it. Okay, you guys can see the stacking does occur. Like, I'm at 20, 30, 24 of them, right? 24 stacks. Uh, I mean, this bear is fairly easy to kill at this point. Like, my, my normal hits do so much damn damage. Uh, but you guys can see here, if I were to, like, compare this to, like, the Scatty or something. We're doing a couple bars per hit. Here's another reset. And there you go. So, let's just say, give or take, 30 seconds to kill this bear. 30 seconds, okay? Now, the cool thing here is that reset is massive, and that stacking worked really, really, really well. Now, this is a very weak boss. All right, keep that in mind. That's that's one thing to note. This is a very weak boss. Now, if I were to take the same situation again, and let's just throw in, uh, let's put the scatty in, okay? We're going to, it's a little bit, a little stronger, obviously, because the scatty is an A A9. But again, just to give you guys a general sense of the damage difference between an, a real SSR weapon that you summon for versus the Marlin and where where it stands, right? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and jump in. Again, I won't do any shadow steps, just normal attacks, normal skills. We'll move on. Now, again, the beauty of the Marlin is the fact that the the dash does reset it, right? And the fact is, um, at the end of the day, it can do quite a bit of damage. Look at look at that though. Look look how quickly we got him. And we didn't get a chance to even pull the scatty like the freeze off right which is a lot of its damage so you guys can see here scatty itself is in fact doing way more damage now if i were if this thing didn't have that unlimited you know that unlimited move we would have finished this way quicker so there you guys go let's just say seven seven seconds difference we'll, we'll just say that okay i know it's at six but we'll say seven just just to give it a little bit more of like a margin of error because i did have to dodge the other one i, I dodged once this one i dodged twice so again a little bit different there, okay? So Scatty versus the last one here, and this is an A10 weapon, so of course this is going to be different, but I, th I think you guys get the point here, right? Is that these weapons that are purchasable or ones that are summonable that are not event related are built to be stronger okay now from an actual stats perspective we'll look at it as well too there's really no difference the marlin at a10 will give you the same i believe stats as uh the, the scatty or the grimoire will but you guys can see here look how much faster this destroys things right nothing nothing from a from a water perspective touches the grimoire so there you guys go if you guys are wondering, is the Marlin weapon worth it? I'll be honest with you. My take on this as my free-to-play account, on my, on my pay-to-win account, it's a fun weapon to use for clearing gates. It's a fun weapon to use for clearing uh, any levels with water elements that have a lot of mobs. Uh, for the, In that regard, yes, it's actually worthwhile having. Is it worth on bosses and content that really matters? No, not really. It's it's something you probably aren't going to level. Should you keep it? Absolutely. And that's one thing I want to discuss. Do not melt the weapon. If you melt the weapon, you're going to regret it. I promise. Because eventually we're going to have a stage where you're going to need you know, to kill mobs quickly. And that weapon, because of the reset and because of its its buffs, will help you out at some one point or another. Especially if you are a free-to-play player. Not necessarily dolphins, not necessarily free, uh, whales, there's better options. But for free-to-play players to have an A5 water weapon that can assist you to clear mobs quickly is never a bad thing. Alright guys, this is Payne. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.